Hello, this is a um, video response to Candy CC's um, Has This Ever Happened to You video. Um, I saw the video and it was interesting, so I decided to um, subscribe to Candy CC and I love her videos and everything. So when I saw it, I decided to want to do a response. So, yes, I've had many different uh, paranormal experiences um too many that I'm not too very proud of actually um uh when I was little I vote I had insomnia actually I still have it to this day so while everyone in the house is knocked out um or whatever I always saw shadows and um things moving and figures and stuff like that. Um <laughs> excuse me. So, um that kept on happening throughout um as I grew up. But mainly when I was sixteen, fifteen, sixteen, um uh, um what sixteen. Uh I live with my father. It was just me and him and my father left um, and he told me to push the couch against the door when he leaves and lock it and everything. So I grew up with a very big family. I don't like being by myself, so yeah, I'm used to be having noise and everything. For it to be really quiet, it aggravates me, and I, you know, and because of the experiences I went through, like growing up or anything. I get scared very easily. Don't like to, when it's too quiet. So I ended up sleeping in the living room. So I'm laying down in the living room and I close my eyes. All of a sudden I'm hearing kids laughing. So they're giggling and everything. And all of a sudden I'm feeling like the kids are jumping up and down and giggling and playing where my feet are. So they're jumping in the bed where my feet are and giggling for three minutes around there. Um, so it fades away, and all of a sudden I feel like someone's staring at me. So, then all of a sudden I'm hearing a man breathing down on me, and I hear, <sighs> like, really creepy breathing. And, um, so, it, like, I feel like they're just staring at me. So, I both times when the kids are playing with the guy when the male presence is breathing on me I can't open my eyes I can't move I can't speak nothing so that presence also goes away so I open my eyes I get up I'm searching all over the house you know and there's no one home the couch is exactly still in the same place that I put it um door still locked and everything so that's my first experience. A um, couple months later, I moved in with my mother, and there you would hear noises and stuff like that. You know, like when I was growing up. Um, and then, um, for some reason, a lot of the paranormal things happen when I'm in bed. For some reason, so I'm in bed, and all of a sudden I see this child like run into the room and then all of a sudden disappears so I thought it was I was seeing things and I thought it was my nephew so I go and I go to my sister in the kitchen and I asked her if my nephew went into the room and she said no um he's been here the whole time he hasn't even gone over there and that really creeped me out or anything and um Mm -hmm. Um, that was actually, um, the f only one actual paranormal in that house that when I lived with my mom. Uh, then years passed, I got married, my husband joined the Navy, and we moved to Virginia. And I was seven months pregnant, we moved to Virginia. Um, and my husband was stationed. And every night I would hear um, someone come into my room when my husband is sleeping and I'm in bed and 
and would walk into the room and I can hear like the floorboards like creaking and everything and it would go from the doorway to my side of the bed and the way my room was the door was like where my feet were whatever so it would go from the door all the way to my side of the bed always my side my husband snoring like crazy and he doesn't even know what's going on and then all of a sudden the bed would go down like someone sits there and again I can can't talk I can't move or anything and I hear the breathing again um months pass again of course uh, I gave birth to my son and three weeks after he was born my mom passed away so um after I came back from um went to the funeral and everything I went back to Virginia and I had two presences in my house which was the male which I was very uncomfortable um, when he was around I couldn't speak or anything and then when my mom was there I was able to open my eyes and actually stay there and she would do the same thing when she would come in the room and sit on the bed and I would actually look and see that the bed was actually down like she was sitting there and I can feel the weight like she's sitting there and she would stay there for a while we didn't really talk or anything it was just you know silence or um, we talked with her uh, minds well I talked to her with my mind or whatever but I, I felt very um, safe like you know she was there she was watching over me so after a while I can feel like she got off the bed and walked out of the room and um, at this time I, uh, my son was about a month old and um, she walked out of the room and she went st straight across the hall to my son's room a couple minutes later I'm hearing my son cracking up like crazy and it's you know, feels so good and everything. Now the male presence would walk out the door, but it was like he would disappear because I, you know, didn't hear. Like floorboards were really bad, so the whole house. So we got to a certain point out the door, and then like nothing. But with my mother, I would hear her go out of the room. Floor would creak all the way down to my son's room. And um, another experience in the house was also um, I was in bed as usual and um I hear the shower running in the bathroom and in the bathroom was in the master bedroom and I'm hearing a man taking a shower and coughing and everything so again can't move can't do anything or whatever and my husband was on the ship he was working so when he came home then I asked him if he came to the house and took a shower and he said he never left work so that was scary um and that's it those are my main ones of actual paranormal experiences that I can think of right now so Candace uh yes I've had many different experiences um, I hope you liked this video um, and can't wait to see more of your videos. You are an artist at your craft and um, can't wait for um, hopefully to get maybe a response to you saw it or anything and can't wait to see your videos. Um, have a great day. Bye girl.